Right, exactly. Heartbreaking way to lose, 109th minute. Overall, what did you think of your team's performance tonight? Yeah, we fought really hard, and we, I think we deserved better. Um, I think a draw probably was a fair result. The game was really even, um, really hard played. I think both teams, you know, fought for the whole time, and uh, I thought overall it was a pretty good game. What were your biggest concerns about TCU coming into the game? You're breaking them down. You know, they haven't given up a lot of goals, and, and, and they're really built just to defend, you know, and they sit in and, uh, and sit in and sit in, and they make it hard on you going forward. And, you know, they, they did limit the number of goal scoring chances we had. You now, I thought we had two really good ones that we probably should have put away, and, and, you know, we're not in overtime if that happens. Both teams had substantially more shots in the second half than the first. What changed that allowed things to open up? Yeah, I, I probably a fatigue a little bit, you know, f fatigue. Uh, the players not being able to get there and press as much. Um, but certainly the second half was a lot more end to end. Feel a little bit soft tonight as rain hit a couple of times during the day. Did the field conditions play into this at all? Not the result, no. Um, we're used to a faster field, no doubt. I mean, you know, Westcott's extremely fast and this was slow. Um, and it did take us some time to adjust to it. I thought, you know, the first half especially, we, you know, we were under hitting some balls. Uh, you saw Katie slipped on one. I think that was the second half. But, you know, so certainly it, uh, it comes into play some, but I don't know that it mattered in the result. Katie obviously would like to have the last one back, but she did have five saves yeah. tonight. Overall, what did you think of her performance in the net? She was good. She made one big, big, big save, you know, to, to keep it at 0-0. Zero, zero. And, you know, the, the, the goal, I, I, I don't know that there was much she could have done with that. It was um, a bit of a scrum. It was uh, um, you know, kind of on accident that they scored, but I got the ball in the net. What was your message to your team before overtime? Um, to really try to go out and, and dominate the beginning of the period so that that would set the, the tone for the rest of the period. And, you know, I, I felt like we did pretty well with that. I mean, I felt like we were on them a good bit. Um, but, you know, we, we gave up the corner right there at the end and we didn't quite mark it right. And that's part, you know, that's mostly on me. I, I moved V at the last minute and it played to the top. And next thing you know, the ball's in the goal. As disheartening as this is, now you've got to turn around and start conference play yeah. going to South Florida. What's the key to rebounding and putting this behind you? Well, I, first of all, I think that, um, you know, there's a lot of positive to take from here. I mean, we, you know, we played quite well. Um, we've come a long way, you know. We played a team full of juniors and seniors, and and uh, they maybe were just a little bit more mature, you know, towards the end. Um, you know, a year ago, we weren't even in the game with these guys. So, you know, we've come a long way, and, and there, are, there are a lot of good things out there. I, we're, we're just going to focus on, you know, on the stuff that's good, because it was a good performance by our team.